Betches peeps, welcome to Word Up Wednesday. Today we're gonna to be talking about the importance of a wellness routine, especially during these times of uncertainty. Um, a wellness routine can be about what you do in your morning routine, your evening routine, but most importantly, it is so important to get sleep and sound sleep in this routine. Yeah, I mean, sleep, we always talk about how important sleep is and how it's the, the basis for your entire day. If you, uh, we've all been there, either you're on a red eye flight or you just didn't sleep well one night and you just can't even like really function the next day. Mm -hmm. So yes, that's really important. Um, a wellness routine is a very personal thing. Everybody kind of has their own version of it. Mm -hmm. um, and some of the things that we like in our wellness routines are meditation. We're both very big meditators. Meditation is a really wonderful way to kind of clear your mind, kind of get those creative juices flowing. Get the cobwebs um, out. It's just, it's really a wonderful thing. Uh, and it's not as hard as you think. I know a lot of people think it's really difficult to just sit there and relax for five, 10, up to 20 minutes. And I can tell you from experience because I'm <laughs> fairly new at it and I'm now meditating 20 minutes a day, sometimes twice a day. It's really not that hard. So meditation, I know I'm so proud of her. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> um, meditation, we also love to work out. Mm -hmm. um, moving your body, moving your body is so important, especially as we get older. It could be easy as walking. It could be a yoga flow. It could be a heavy hit. It could be weightlifting, whatever it is that your body, because everybody's different. I love high intensity and heavy lifting. I also love to spin. Marcy's a runner. Yeah. She spins as well. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to get her to lift some weights. <laughs> <laughs> but um, you know, moving your body is very, very, very important. It it's very much like meditation, actually. It clears your mind. Um, mm -hmm. It just really, we, I love to work out in the morning. You as well, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, always. Yeah, mm -hmm. so we do it to like clear our minds. It gets the juices flowing again. It clears all the cobwebs. So we're meditating, we're working out, we're sleeping. We're also- But even working out is also good for, it'll build that serotonin, which can help with a lot of people are struggling with um, levels of depression and anxiety yes. through the pandemic. And life is just really tough these days. And so it, it really helps with that as well. Yes. What else? Um, journaling. journaling. Journaling is a great way uh, a lot of people start their day. Just write it down. Write down what you're thinking, what you're feeling, what your goals are, what you're grateful for. It's great. a really good way to kind of cement and, uh, you know, concrete your, your ideas and your intentions for the day, for the week, for the month. Yes. I also love to go to bed, like before I close my eyes and I have my whole routine to get me to sleep. I also, I don't journal at night, but I also sit, I, I sit and I think what I'm grateful for that day. It changes every day. Every day is different from the, you know, you know, it's just different. I do that too. You do? I do, Aww. but I do it in the morning. I, I, in my meditation, I think of three things I'm grateful for every day and they always have to be different. I mean, I love that. But you always did the grateful jar with your girls too. Yes, we do. We actually even have a great uh, gratitude board that we wrote, are you grateful for? And we write it down. It's important because there's so many things that we all could be grateful for daily that we just get caught up and you don't realize. And once you start having that mindset of gratitude and positivity and all of that good stuff, abundance, it, it, just, all just... it just starts coming to you. It's amazing how that happens. <laughs> you put yourself on a higher vibration. That is the key. So a wellness routine will also raise your vibration. When your vibration is higher, you attract more of the wonderful, beautiful things that you have already in your life. So being grateful is a great way to raise your vibration as well. Yeah, we'd love to hear different ways that you like to create your own wellness routine. Is it something you do in the morning? Is it something you do in the evening? We'd love to hear it, so let us know. And always, have a fabulous day. Reach out to us, DM, email, however it is you want to get a hold of us. As you know, we love to hear from you. Yes. And let's hear about your wellness routine. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs>